Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing some Two Point Hospital Jumbo Edition. This video is sponsored by Two Point Hospital, so thank you very much to them. I really appreciate it. The Jumbo Edition is out now. It's their biggest console update ever. It includes four massive expansions, two item packs, and a free update with room templates and remix levels. The game is over 3 million players already, and honestly, the only thing surprising about that is that there's not more already because the game is so fun. If you want to check out the game for yourself, there is a link in the description. I'm playing it on the switch as you can see what you think i play without my wristbands i'm not a lunatic owie ow all right <laughs> maybe a little bit of a lunatic i'm gonna jump into sandbox and try and make a hospital that actually functions but mainly i just want to make as much money as possible sweaty pam seems like the most fitting map for me but i'm gonna keep looking here i don't know what smugly is but that also seems kind of fitting meltdowns kind of the same all right now i'm gonna go with sweaty palms all right so this is sweaty palms hospital why do i get the feeling not many people are gonna come here who wants the surgeon to be all sweaty and slippery i mean I wouldn't want to deal with anyone sweaty and slippery, but surgeons especially. Okay, when I think of doctors and medical staff, I think cheap and cheerful. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the cheapest staff I can get. After all, what is modern medicine all about? Making money. This one's slightly more, just uh, just about a grand more, but can deal with ghosts. And well, I think that might come in handy. Patients are reminded not to believe in ghosts. Yeah, that helps too. Thanks. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I'm just trying to save space, but now they're going to be queuing like right in the main door. Yeah, I'll build them a toilet, but no sinks. I mean, if you think about it, it's in my best interest if people get sick from the germs of this toilet that I'll never clean. Between treatments. Something. Yeah, there we go. Whoever is doing those announcements needs a promotion. I won't give it to you because that would cost me extra money, but you do deserve one. God, we're really all about space, aren't we? <laughs> Look at that. That's awful. Can I fit another bed in here? No. Oh, God damn it. Okay, these people are almost the same cost. Except this one's unmotivated and this one owns a crossbow. So you kind of got to go with the crossbow one. Unofficial complaints will not be treated as official. And official complaints will be thrown in the trash. Just being up front with you. We don't have the staff to actually deal with the complaints. Marketing? Oh, that might be a good idea. <laughs> Instead of building like a surgery, I go for marketing. Marketing campaign. What will I do? I don't know if I even have like the resources to do this. <laughs> Huge TV campaign featuring superstar actor Roderick Cushion. I'm in. <laughs> this is such a bad idea. Are you saying we need a doctor for this? Oh, assistant. Okay. All right. This is one I'll spend a bit of money on because you're cheap anyway. Because you got a weak bladder. You're cheap apparently. Yeah, market this hospital. I want to treat like celebrities and stuff. They got all the money. I'm going to go with surgery because it says home of the age old cut them open method. <laughs> I think we should do that for everything. You got the sniffles? Let's open you up. Take a little look-see. Operating table there. Screen. Not really needed in my hospital. We're not really about privacy. In fact, we prefer the transparent approach. So I'm going to install loads of windows so you can see right into the surgery room from the hallway. Oh, you love the cure, but you don't like to see people being cured huh? By the time we open your eyes, even the door is transparent. I don't think it's supposed to be like right in the hall. This will be your entertainment. I'm setting up rows of benches so they can watch. You got your snacks ready to go. Not bad. It'll just seem like a really, really good movie. I just hope they have happy endings. Patients now arriving for the ward. Wait, we got an emergency. What is it? Ward patients. <laughs> Is someone vomiting? Good thing I got that bin. I knew that would come in handy. You've been here for 76 days. You're bored and thirsty. <laughs> I don't blame you if you've been here this long, but look, we got a drinks machine now. Sorry the entertainment isn't here yet, but I'm sure it'll be here soon. All right, we need more cheap doctors. Has some regrets. I'm more of a ZX no regrets kind of guy. I'm going to go with Josiah. I think one janitor's fine to take care of an entire hospital. It seems reasonable of me. New illness lazy bones discovered. Oh, I discovered that a long time ago. I, I'm terminal i'm afraid oh my god the cure sounds great all right maybe i'm not maybe you can cure me upon diagnosis the patient should be immediately rushed to a ward where they must sleep for several days whilst being fed milk and cookies i feel like a bit of a lazy bones can i get that <sighs> fine i'll build you a staff room because you're complaining i'll build it really small though and i don't want anything really in there just a couch where you can stare at the wall and think about god it must be good to have an employer that cares about you extinguishers Seems a bit like an unnecessary expense to me. Like, that can't make me money. 
What was that noise? There was a noise and then the music stopped. I don't like that. Some of our patients are really bored. God damn it. That's not really my problem. Like a hospital is meant to be boring. Oh, space cowboy. There's loads of free stuff here I can get. Oh, this will entertain people. I'm gonna put them in the reception. Oh, look at the space cowboy while you wait. <laughs> patients like I'm 36 years old. I'm dying, but I love the space cowboy. The accordion -tron. Oh, that'll entertain people. Jesus, that is terrifying. Can I have it stare at people when they're in the bathroom? Invalid item for room. Oh, God damn it. Okay. What if I place him like out here and staring in that open archway? God, that is terrifying. This hospital is going to be the center of a horror game or movie <laughs> once we eventually close down with we'll making enough money and run. And then there'll be a person like me playing the horror game. Going, Why would there be this animatronic in a hospital? Hospital. Oh no, he's got a serious case of Mockstar. It's Freddie Mercury. Hold on, we'll, we'll fix you. We'll fix you. Oh, someone's loving it. Oh, it's Freddie Mercury himself. All right, hold on. Maybe I won't fix you immediately then. I want you to use that machine. No, I'll make him look away in the other corner of the room. That's got to be comforting if you're getting some psychiatry, right? Wait, no, don't go to surgery. That's not what you need. <laughs> Plus, my doctors aren't very good. So honestly, if you did go in there, I think you'd be going better dum 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 Another one bites the dust. I forgot that I was looking for something fun for them. Hold on, I'll find you something fun. Oh, there's so many cool items here. Um, oh, the gramophone. That's what all the kids listen to these days, right? The gramophone. I mean, they love the accordion. <laughs> that thing is fucking terrifying. This hospital is cursed. Increases temperature, the radiator. Yeah, I could do with some radiators. If I make people think they have like a fever because the place is boiling, then they'll stay longer, which in turn means more money. This poor person is surrounded by radiators. I don't think they could even get out of the bed. He died. <laughs> God, what setting were those heaters on? I need one of those. Like, not not to die. I just mean I'm very cold all the time. Oh, he's getting up out of bed to die. <laughs> yeah, please get out of the bed. We'd never be able to put another patient in there if we had to say, look, someone just died from overheating there. He's choosing his place to die. What a privilege. Oh, wait, he, he doesn't want to die in a dressing gown that's showing off his ass. I understand. There we go all dressed up and ready to die. There you go. What a lovely place to die. Behind a public restroom. Now this place really is a haunted hospital. I still need something fun. I'm getting distracted because I go to kill people. Oh god, that person just died as well. Oh, a tribute to Dogecoin. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Our hospital is heavily invested in Dogecoin, so we're really trying to push it. Aircon. Aircon, that's a good idea. We can make people more sick as they come in and then they'll have to stay longer. And then they'll go to the heat and be like, this is great. But little do they know, that'll make them even sicker in the long run. Get okay, blast them with the cool air here. There we go. That is a very cold area now. Wait, a review? What? Wait, there's an abdominal curse? What? What is going on? Oh, no. We have an epidemic. Oh, this is a bad time for an award show. Please give me a pity award. I didn't get an award. Like, I should at least get the coolest hospital. It's freezing in here. We're sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. Oh, I love that passive aggressive announcement. Oh God, there's a fire. I shouldn't have cheapened out on the fire extinguishers. Look, I'm sure you'll figure it out. Bring the aircon unit over. Just roll it over to them. Okay, this may be beyond aircon. Make sure there are enough fire extinguishers in the air. What are the chances of two fires? Honestly, slim to none. Okay, that, that person's a zombie, just saying. Oh no, that sound didn't sound good. <laughs> Wait, we have the CEO of Jumba Megacorp visiting the toilets here. Oh, please, no, don't see the accordion. Oh my God, he's getting surrounded by patients. And ironically, he doesn't seem to have much patience at all. He's getting really pissed off. The place is literally being haunted as the CEO is around here. All right, let's just hope he thought that was quirky and cool. The CEO is no more worried or comfortable than he was before. He believes he was paying us the exact right amount of attention. Unless that is an extreme amount of attention. I have questions on his judgment. Oh my god, we are short on doctors. Probably because I pay them peanuts. Oh my god, this person's like dying of overheating, I think. Hold on, let me move the radiator closer to you. There you go. You know what we might have to do? We might have to like try and expand a little bit. I'm gonna buy plot two and we'll we'll open a cafe over there or something because the hospital business is not so profitable right now. Buy this one too. <laughs> we're just trying to expand into other businesses, okay? And not saying we're giving up on the hospital. I'm just saying that maybe we should diversify. <laughs> <laughs> They're just having a blast with this thing. I'm definitely putting loads of them in the cafe. They love them. We still only have one janitor covering this whole place. 
Oh, what was that? Oh, another person dying. Uh, janitor, the whole place is a mess. There are some ghosts you need to take care of, and the toilet's broke. Could have fixed all that, please? Also, some piss over here. <laughs> Which, you know, I, I would recommend, yeah, cleaning up the toilet and fixing that before you tackle this, because I feel like this is just going to keep expanding until that's fixed. Clever janitor. Deserves a raise. Not getting one, but deserves it. Seems to be a trend in this hospital. Oh my god, they're, they're pissing everywhere. It's as if one toilet for an entire hospital isn't enough. Okay, the cafe is built. All right, rooms. Uh, where are you? Cafe. This isn't laziness how I'm placing them. This is the style that I'm going for. I don't want any pretentious cafe with symmetrical layout. I'm expecting a lot of customers, so I'm gonna have two food counters. And music. There's patients complaining that I don't have a specific clinic that I need, but I'm just going. Oh yeah, I need music. <laughs> oh, a little kiosk for snacks. That is adorable. If you're socially anxious, you can just go to the machine where you can get... What even are they serving on that? Meaty snack machine. <laughs> just a lump of meat. Homegrown tomatoes. Great snack. And an even better song. And while I'm putting in all these music devices, I can hear the music of people dying. <laughs> just those sounds over and over again. I'm done. Look at that state-of-the-art cafe. Oh my god. <laughs> what have you been doing when I was gone? Did all of my staff quit or something? All right, it's clearly my staff that are the problem, not me, so I'm gonna build a training room. Hey, toilet! <laughs> it is not plural. We can get done for false advertising. This is a weird layout. <laughs> it's a very long room <laughs> for the troublemakers at the back of the class. Is that an earthquake? That is the last thing I need right now. I just built a lovely cafe. Somebody protect the, the accordion man. Without him, our hospital's ruined. There's people literally queuing up to use it. Why don't we charge for this? This is how we make the real money. <laughs> for feck's sake. That feckin' janitor needs to really get on top of their game now at this point. They're taking the piss. Look, a stamina training course. Bring in a trainer. Just train everyone at once. I know the hospital will suffer, but at least it'll be over and done with. Start training. Imagine you're queuing for literally days and then all the staff just get up, turn around and leave. The only place to go is the cafe, I guess, while you wait. I'd like to point out that I'm still making a profit at the moment. This training is such a waste of money. Like half the people are not going to be able to hear. Look how far back they are. I'm just installing more of these to keep people busy while my staff are being trained. This will entertain him in the meantime. There we go. Music to my ears. <laughs> that sounds so bad. The training course nearly done. Oh, almost, almost. You should have the stamina to actually go straight back to work, right? This is what it was all about. Why did everyone leave except this person? Everyone left, so only one person actually got it. Oh no, the CEO is here. This is bad. Oh no, and it's a new CEO. <laughs> They're not used to my low standards. Someone just left because they were waiting for 181 days to be treated. Oh man, everyone's going to the toilet. And I mean like just on the floor, not literally going to the toilet. The toilet is broken. Honestly, I don't know if there's any point in even feckin' fixing this thing. Just sell it. May as well make some money while we can. Sell the room, in fact. Yeah, look look at the money we can make selling that room. Nice. The hospital isn't covering its costs. Oh no. I'm gonna finally invest in learning the deluxe clinic because there's been a lot of people going around with light bulbs for heads, which means they have that issue and, well, I've not been fixing them. Also, this one, the panhead one, I, I know you're coming here for a Assistance, but I don't have that much sympathy. Just get some soap, squirt it on up there, and you'll get it off yourself. Come back to me when it's stuck up your ass. <laughs> then you need a hospital. Look, I'm a doctor, not a panhandler. <laughs> All right, I can't do anything for you. Get out of here. I don't have the room they need. I didn't invest in research. I invested in a cafe. By the way, no one is going here. Oh, wait, 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 we have customers. Two of them. Wow, <laughs> a new record. <laughs> and hey, we have a ghost over here. Hope you didn't die from the food. I got some anger angry emails. This person wants to quit, the nurse, because they're underpaid, they have an ugly environment, and it's too cold. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I get you're underpaid, but ugly environment? Maybe you have a point. <laughs> but just go here if you're cold. Oh my god, this person looks like me. <laughs> Same complexion. Send home. Get out of here. There's no curing that paleness. Trust me, I've tried. Oh my god, this place is falling apart. At least I've answered one question here. How do you make $150,000 with a hospital? Start off with 500000 there's still rocks all over the place from the earthquake, like bits of the ceiling have fallen in. Attention. I mean, it's a bit too late for that. It's really being tolerated at the moment. This person is just standing in it, asserting dominance. 
Another one. Come on. I'm screwing this up enough by myself. Do I really need that? Why does God hate me? Is it because of who I am as a person? Because if so, I kind of understand. I've given God more than enough reasons. But look at how many customers I'm sending him. <laughs> Come on. I have some pity. I should get some sort of referral bonus, right? Oh, no. This person has a jest infection. <laughs> clown clinic required. I love the clown clinic too. But I don't think I'm going to get it made in time before I go bankrupt. Machines broke. Janet. <laughs> Need your help. You've no excuse. You've no bathroom to fix anymore. There we go. We actually have the staff now willing to put in the time to, to figure out this light bulb problem. Maybe you should get an old light bulb yourself. Maybe a bit of a bright idea. I'm starting to think this janitor isn't qualified, but again, I'm not willing to pay more. So <laughs> it is what it is. Might be a good time for a marketing campaign. I'm going to spend half of my remaining money, over half of my remaining money. We're about breaking even, surprisingly, between my revenue and expenses, but I keep spending recklessly, like in making a cafe. Which, by the way, is just popping off. You can see the doctor's having a great time there, just dancing instead of back at the surgery where you belong. Deluxe clinic unlocked. Finally, we can solve this problem that they've been having. I think another problem we should try and fix is all the debts. Um, maybe look at building a cemetery. <laughs> Instead of stopping the problem, we'll just deal with the remains. Where's the clown clinic? Yeah, look into the clown clinic, please. Awards and yearly review. I would be so happy if I got an award. I think I deserve it for something. Most debts, maybe? <gasps> I got employer of the year! According to staff happiness. <laughs> Rising star. There you go. Best teaching hospital. Yes! <laughs> we literally took all our staff and taught them a lesson. Yes. Yes, fix the light bulb. All right, folks, this is going to be extremely gory, so get ready. Oh my god, his head is gone. They're scanning him a new head. Oh, you can even pick how you look. That is awesome. Look at him. Wow, you look great, buddy. Enjoy your new head. Look at that revenue compared to expenses. I'm somehow actually pulling this off now. I don't know how, but the one thing I've got going for me is all my staff are really happy. I think it's just the accordions doing the job, to be honest with you. I think that's the secret trick here. Wait, is that? Oh, that's a furry. Okay. I thought it was an actual dog. I don't think I can diagnose you, but you're free to walk around. I hope to God it's been you that's been pissing on the floor. No, that is way too much. <laughs> and I'd recommend you stop walking around your hands and feet uh, because, well, you're kind of trotting right into all those puddles. The senior janitor is very unhappy and threatening to leave. Ugly environment, desperate for the toilet and too cold. Where's my staff? I need to give him a promotion. He deserves it. I don't want him to leave. I want him to be stuck here forever. Look at how miserable he is. There we go. A 1% increase in your pay. That'll keep you happy. After so many years working here, he gets a 1% pay increase and his workload has like quadrupled, <laughs> but he's happy with it. No benefits, no real pay increase, no promotion, no backup, no toilet breaks. In fact, no toilet, <laughs> but he's happy. Oh, we've gone into the minus. Oh, that's not good. How did that happen? I shouldn't have given him a 1% pay increase. That just tipped us over the edge. Congratulations, janitor. You've ruined the hospital. I can't believe you've done this. Well, we are absolutely hemorrhaging money, so I guess we will end it there. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check it out, link in the description. Two Point Hospital, thank you so much for the sponsor. I got an opportunity to hang out with some of the folks that actually made this game and lovely, lovely people. Lovely, lovely game. Really, really, really fun. Highly recommend it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Appreciate you. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.